Hi, oh, watch all the gate AR on videos on the YouTube and here are 10 tips that you must know if you are seriously preparing for gate. Have you seen anyone out there? Uh, Nikhil Kumar Shaha. Let's start. Oh. I don't know how many videos I watched. Time is like approximately 4.55 a.m. <gasps> Fuck, fuck, fuck. Now you need to understand why I make this video because hard work always doesn't guarantee results. Three years back while preparing for gate, I was under immense pressure because I was dropping for the second time, pressure from my parents and worst, my hands are falling. But still I gave my best. And I was strongly convinced that I will get a good rank. But in the end I got only 50 which is far more lesser than compared to my efforts. I started to have self-doubt. I feel like I cannot succeed in any part of life. But I refused to give up. So I prepared hard for IIT. Then I joined IIT Madras. Started reading a lot of books to understand the performance of brain. And I simply applied during my academy. I got good grades. I have written a paper. Manages my time better. And yeah. I sleep really well. So these are 10 tips that will prove on to increase your gate rank way better. So make sure watch till the last second of the video and 9th one is my absolute favorite. So let's start. The number one mistake that gate aspirants do that they should avoid at all costs is not giving enough tests. Give more tests. Your strategy should be like giving equal time between revision and test series. And no matter how much you prepare, you will never get success if you don't understand understanding is the key to the kingdom have a clear understanding of the concepts especially if you want to be a topper you must need to solve sums that are not able to be solved directly or sums that requires clear understanding now understanding is important but it will never take you there if you don't prepare a short notes short notes is really important during the final stages of preparation if you haven't prepared it prepare it right now and the best short notes is not the one you buy in the market it's the one you write on your own not on all the formulas from the subject give a space at the end where you note all the errors you are doing so you can go through it frequently actually i want to say something this is actually my formula note the heading is actually the topic and uh, these are actually the formulas so i don't have actually uh, an error column i think you are seeing it there but instead what i do is like i uh, simply return the mistakes that I have do, I'm doing in green. For theory, I would say that if possible, you put the important point here in the formula note or in your notes, you just underline the important concepts and go through it frequently. Now you have the short notes. Now let's get our hands dirty. Give test. Ideally, by this time, you should start giving tests. I mean, full length mock test. And ideally, you should also subscribe to my channel because I'm going to post a lot of contests later to get in the upcoming months. Now, coming back to the test, if you haven't started giving full length tests, start at least 45 days before you get exam. And in that case, you have to give topic wise test right now. Give test in this order. First, focus on scoring and less time consuming subjects. Second, scoring and more time consuming subjects. And third, mathematics and aptitude. These are actually boosting parts. Now saying give test is quite easy, but scoring in test is the toughest part. So how can we actually increase the score? First way, time management. I have seen some people start with hard problems and I have seen some people start with easy problems. But ironically, I would say that start with easy because it was one of the instant of uh, AR1 mechanical Nikhil Saha. Actually, he was actually solving a problem and he got stuck and uh, due to his ego, he tried again and again for 10 minutes and he didn't got the answer. And then what he did was really interesting. So he then started with all the easy problems, finished it quick, 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 quick. And he got the confidence and he came to the particular problem and he solved it. So start with easy problems. But I have seen some toppers also, they are also starting with hard problems. That is actually depending upon person to person. What I would say is experiment, observe and optimize. You test and what works for you, fix it and just do it. Now apart from this strategy, what you can actually do to improve your time management is find shortcuts. Sumit Bambu he is actually AR1 of uh, Mechanical 2019. He actually finished the test 30 minutes before. I also gave that 2019. It was like fuckingly hard. But how did he do that? It's all because of shortcuts. Now what are the ways we can do shortcuts? One, for subjects containing lengthy problems, try to find shortcuts. Try to kill the intermediate steps. Know the values of common values and its multiplication. So there are many ways actually you can find shortcuts. These are some of the things that I told. Now finding shortcuts is cool, but nothing is useful without accuracy. 
Amit Sharma. So I was watching this video of Amit Sharma. He was actually civil. He was three time topper. The first time he scored around 16. The second time he scored around 70 to 80. And the third time he scored 95 plus. Now how did he did that? The first is pure resilience. The ability to not give up and stay motivated during the toughest case. Now that is another big challenge that is currently faced by gate aspirants. Recently I created a poll in my YouTube community and majority of the people voted staying motivated and avoiding procrastination is the number one problem that you guys are facing. So I went and asked all the IITians who cracked the gate here at IIT Middle how they stay motivated during their toughest days. So for the brevity of this video I just posted the entire video on the telegram. Go check it out. I put the link in the description. And apart Apart from that, inside the telegram group, I'm gonna post exclusive content only for gate aspirants to improve your performance for cracking gate. So if you are a gate aspirant, go join and I'd also like to hear from you what is the problem that you are facing during your gate preparation and what is the video that I wanted to post next. Please comment below. I love to make videos for you. So apart from resilience, the most important factor that determine your test series success is accuracy. Pretty much simple. Now how you can actually improve your accuracy? Prevent silly mistakes. Silly mistakes. Look at its name. Silly. So what I mean by silly mistakes is these are the mistakes that we generally won't do but due to exam pressure we actually commit to and that causes more mark. And in gate, you know, even two mark makes a big difference. Elimination of silly mistake is a big challenge even for the toppers, but there are certain ways that you can do to ensure that the silly mistakes are minimized. First, when you give the test, a lot of things that are irrelevant will pop up. What happens if I score more? I already spent two years. And suddenly you touch your hair and hair starts falling. Come on, ignore it. Focus should be only on test and solving problems during the time you are giving tests. That's the first rule. Second is the destructive analysis of questions. Read the questions in such a way that the question maker made this question to make you a silly mistake. Be careful of the trickling words. They might use not to instead of to. So that things you need to be really really be careful. Now giving tests, preventing silly mistakes and getting good marks in test series is cool. But nothing is cool if you don't choose the right test series. This is the most favorite part of mine because this is the place I made a blunder during my gate preparation. What happened was I just bought a test series. I just don't want to say the name that contains the previous year gate questions. I just saw that. I just saw the previous year questions with different differences. The problem is the question is not challenging because I have already solved it because I was a two times dropper. Uh, so I used to get around 80 to 85. When they're inside and believe that they're winning the battle. And I was content. Don't make this mistake. Sumit Bambu is actually AR1. He never saw the sum that he already knows in the test. Because there is no value in writing the questions that you already know, except preventing the silly mistakes. Choose test series in such a way that there should be problems that should be new, challenging and within the scopes of the syllabus. So recently I watched Rohit Nagy's video where actually he suggested Medici test series is really good. And if you are mechanical, you should also go for exergic because that is also on suggestions from my friend. Now you are going to keep this preparation for the next two months and the day will come. Gate exam. Don't study till the last point, okay? So just try to finish it before one day and take one day break. And on the last day, that is the day that you are going to give exam, just go through the short notes and the year books. That is more than enough. You will get the confidence and you are going to write it. Bam! That's it. Give your absolute best for test. Now here comes the most important part. See, you might be a college student in third year or fourth year or you might be a dropper, first year, second year, third year. There will be always mind games no matter how good your preparation is. Fear of failure, pressure from parents, self-doubts, comparison with others. These are absolutely normal. These are the things that we cannot be in control. But what is actually in control is we giving our absolute best to crack the system. And, and what's just like there are some people they will say that you are not having IIT background. They will say that gate is not my cup of tea and we might be friends of them. We will also think like okay gate is not our cup of tea. Don't listen to them. It is only for them. Because we are someone, we do whatever it takes to win. We stay driven till the end of the mission. So stay driven. But I see